Hi, this is Esther with another Stump Around UK video hop. This month's theme is DSP, so designer series paper. I'm using a pattern that I've seen Amanda Charlesworth do over at Scrimping Mummy, and you get a piece of 6x12 uh, plain paper, and we're scoring it at 3, 6, and 9. That's long ways, and then you turn it to the short side and score it all the way down the middle at 3 inches. Next we want to cut away two opposite corners, so make sure you save these pieces because we're going to use them a bit later. So that corner and that corner there. You can use scissors if you find this easier. I did have a hanger on her, don't pull it, just use your scissors to make sure that you snip off the ends. Next you want to do a score line in the centre panel in a diagonal direction and then we're just going to be creasing and burnishing all those folds. And then don't forget to do the diagonal as well. So once you've done that, you want to encourage those diagonal lines. I've put my middle finger in on either side of those creases to encourage them to fold flat inside on itself. So hopefully you can see that from the video. And then it folds like this. I decided that that flap at the bottom, I wanted it to fold upwards into the middle. And then you've got your front cover across the front. So that when you open it and pull that out, that's how it folds. So hopefully it gives you an idea. So I'm using this gorgeous In Good Taste paper and decided to go pinks and greys. So I'm just going to cut down uh, strips of two and five eighths. So just the couple of notches before the three inches and two by five eighth, eighth, eight, <laughs> I can't say it, two by five eighths squares. For this specific specific sorry project, I ended up using 13 squares, but you've just got to work out what you want to do for yours. I wanted to cut out a couple of squares using these stitched uh, die framelits to add some nice detail to my card or to my project. Going in with the lovely U stamp set to decorate this square. So sticking with my colour palette of basic grey, sorry, not basic grey, blushing bride and grey granite. So I've got here some very thin magnets that if you watch carefully, these first two just ping, shoot across, across my desk and disappear and I still haven't found them. So uh, yeah, lesson learned, just be careful when you're using magnets. So I'm putting the magnet onto a glue dot, it fits perfectly and I'm just doing this a little bit long winded. I've not really used magnets a lot in my projects before but um, in hindsight I should have just stuck, gone ahead and stuck this piece down and then it would have been easier to have put the second magnet on the back of it. So you put a glue dot on the back of that and stick the second one down as well and then it should find each other. And that makes a nice hidden pocket. So just working out what colours I want where and I'm kind of just making this up as I go along really and I'm just experimenting with ideas. So I like the, ideas, the idea of using these strips to add maybe something to the pocket later on. Carrying on just stamping and using these lovely details onto the paper, it's a great way to be able to use your designer series paper. Don't forget you can stamp on it, um, it's, even if it's plain or patterned. I'm using this beautiful tulle polka dot ribbon uh, to tie my book together. Now I don't give it a cover, a front and a back cover extra to what I've done, I'm just using what I've got. So cutting down some pieces 
diagonally down the middle so that they can go on either side of those folded creases. Now, in order to make them fit better, I just go ahead and snip it down. It's such a small bit that I've just used my scissors to go ahead and snip those bits down. So I keep having to work out where the folds are and to make sure that I'm sticking things in the right places. So I knew that I wanted the back cover to have the same pattern as the front. Then I had an afterthought about whoever receives this, I want them to know that this is a, a pull down tab. So I'm just um, trying to manipulate some ribbon to go down that gap and I've used a stapler just to fix that together. But then you've got the ugly staple showing on the other side, so I'm using a strip of paper to cover up the staple at the back. Don't forget the back side of the project as well, so I'm just using some more paper to fill out the back. I like the idea of having another uh, square on the front, but without covering too much of that lovely grey paper. So I've mixed my colours here and half stamped in the grey granite and half in the blushing bride. And then I'm mounting that on the pink paper first before going on the grey. Next I wanted to create a tag to go in that hidden compartment section. So I've done it to about two inches so that I can use the tab tag topper punch to make it into a tag shape. The paper already has a crease in it because I want to make sure that it folds when the card folds up. Now the trouble with doing this and with this length it was interrupting with my magnet so I then had to just chop it down and um, punch it again to make sure it did fit. I decided that with this I wanted it to be like a, a little mini album for space to write and maybe put pictures so I'm adding some more white space in there so that I can do some journaling. making sure I've got the back cover in the right position before I add some stamping to it. And then just finishing off the corners with some extra detail. I kept adding more and more to this album and then I found these leftover strips and I thought oh, it was a shame for those to go to waste. So I added those in the album. And here it is, I closed it with a bow and this is how the whole thing looks once I get into the bow that I've just tied. <laughs> so we've got that really fun secret drop down flap at the front with the tag for a message to go into and that pulls out and can tuck back in there. And as we open it, we, I've got the decoration with the flowers and place to put your journaling. And then it closes back up for the front and the back. So a really fun, easy, fun fold project to do with designer series paper. Please go and continue to hop along and see what everyone else has done for their projects. And um, they always do some amazing work. So please don't forget to carry on and have a look to see what they've done. Thank you so much for joining me. It's great to have your company. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Please give me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you thought of the project and maybe what colours you would choose. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.